Hey guys, it's going to Tim again and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a video with MRTK and the Oculus Quest and I'm going to be walking you through the entire process. I want to start by showing you how the experience looked like that we're going to be building. This is the same experience that I tried with HoloLens 2 previously and everything works. The hand tracking functionality works. I can, you know, I can bring the entire scene if I wanted to bring it close to me. I can also go ahead and touch the piano and you're going to see that everything, you know, functions and the hands are super accurate. I really like how accurate and smooth the detection is. I can also grab certain things in here. We can just move the coffee. It's gonna go ahead and put it right here, or I can move it down here. I can also grab the sliders, or I can use my little raycast here to grab different items. We can bring the world close to me, or I can put it far away, and then, you know, interact with anything that I have in the scene. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so what I have right now is the hand interaction example. And I already went through the process of configuring MRTK with Oculus, I also set up the profile, added packages. So we're gonna go through this process from the very beginning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close it and then open the Unity Hub. I'm gonna be creating a new scene with the latest version of Unity as of today, which is 2020.2.7F1. I'm gonna give it a name, I'll just call it two because I already went through that process. Click on create, it's going to create a new project. Okay, so we have a brand new project, just a sample scene. Let's go ahead and go into file, build settings. And we're gonna be focusing on just changing the platform right now. And let me go ahead and do that one more time, switch platform. And then I'm gonna leave the project settings open because we're gonna have to do one more change in project settings. Okay, so it looks like that part is done. And I'll just leave this open here. We also need the window and then package manager. In the package manager, we're gonna have to download a component which is in the unit registry. It's going to be the Oculus XR. Go ahead and download that. And I'm gonna use version 1.8.1. That's the one that is verified for this version of Unity. And then once we get this downloaded, we're going to be basically enabling Oculus in the XR plugin management. Then we also need to download the Oculus integration, which is going to be required for MRTK. So it looks at that finish. Now let's go into XR plugin management. We're gonna be enabling Oculus on the Android so that we can deploy it. And I'm also going to do the same thing here with Windows because we're going to need that for if we want to run within the editor without actually build into the device. You also have some other options in here. You can go into Oculus, you have multi-pass, share the buffer, dash support, and if you do the Android, it'll ask you here whether you want to target the Quest or the Quest tool. Just know that those settings are going to be available for you. Okay, so what we need right now is we're going to have to go into the package manager and I'm going to go ahead and go into my assets if you don't have these, go ahead and go into the Unity Asset Store and, and download it. But I'm going to basically search for Oculus. And it's going to be bringing, the, bringing in the Oculus integration. The latest version available right now, it's 25. It looks like I already downloaded 20. So I'm gonna use the latest. I think that it's going to work. I already tested with 25. And once we have these, we're gonna have to focus on some of the components that we need to download with the Mixed Reality tool. So why don't we do that right now while that part is downloading? Let's go ahead and open it up. And then in the Mixed Reality tool, if you haven't downloaded these, make sure that you download it. I showed that on the previous video. And then go into Start. This is also going to be fetching packages from the Windows, the Microsoft servers. Once this finishes, it's gonna show us basically a list of packages that are available. This is the new tool that Microsoft now make, they want to push to you so that we don't use, you know, we don't download things manually. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to be just downloading a couple of components. So I'm gonna be using MRTK version 2.6, that's going to be the latest. I'm also going to be doing the foundations. So let's do the examples, the foundations. I don't believe I need to do anything else. I think the extensions are gonna come in automatically because it's gonna be a dependency. Let's go ahead and click on get features. And then on the package manager side with the Oculus integration, let's go ahead and click on import. And I know that I'm going really fast, but hopefully you can pause the video and you know follow along. Okay, I'll just do import there, and then while that is importing, we'll just look at the status of our Microsoft Mixed Reality feature tool. Looks like that's still going, so what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and download the Oculus integration, so it'll tell you everything that is included, including all the examples, and this part is important because we're gonna need to use hand tracking with the demo that I have, so that's what I'm doing this. And also, MRTK is going to be binding to Oculus with some of these components. So while that is going, let's go ahead and check the status of the Mixed Reality Feature Tool. And it's gonna to tell us here what features we're going to be adding. 
And like I said, we didn't need to choose the extensions because it's actually a dependency of one of these and also the standard assets. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be specifying the path where we have our project. It's going to be MRTK Oculus Quest 2. Let's go ahead and click on Open. And I always recommend that you do validate because it's going to make sure that you have all the right versions and everything that you need for those packages. So click on that and then click on Import. And when you do that, it's going to tell you, you know, what you have in your manifest, what files are going to be copied into the project. And let's go ahead and click on Approve. And that's going to update the manifest. We have the Oculus integration importing. So it's going to try to do, it's going to probably going to do a multi-threading, you know, where it's going to try to import everything. We'll just wait until this finishes and everything imports. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to update the Oculus Utilities plugin. It's a pop-up that came up. It's going to go ahead and say yes. And then once that finished, we're going to be basically responding to a dialog for MRTK. It's going to tell you that it needs to restart the plugin. We'll just say that. And then also the Specializer plugin, I'm just going to upgrade it. Let's click on that. And now the Specializer plugins have been upgraded. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Restart. OK, so you need to restart it and the MRTK dialog came up. I'm just going to go ahead and say Apply. Just make sure that everything gets updated in our project. And then the last thing that I'm going to do in here, if we look at Packages and then look at In Project, you're going to see that we have the samples for Mixed Reality Toolkit. I'm going to click on Samples here and then bring in the Hand Tracking Demo. OK, so it looks like that finished. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the Package Manager so that we can do a couple more changes. I'm going to double click in here, Scenes, and then let's go ahead and double click on the Hand Interactions Example Scenes. It's going to ask you if you want to import Text Mesh Pro. I'm going to say yes. OK, let's go ahead and close out of this. I'm going to go into my Mixed Reality Toolkit, and we need to change the profile because the default is the HoloLens 2. I don't want that. I'm going to be selecting default XR SDK Configuration Profile, and this is going to have everything already set up for you. Lastly, we're going to go into the Oculus folder, and I'm going to click on this scriptable object. And we're going to tell it that we're going to be using controllers and hands. That way, we can actually use the, the hands in our demo, which is what I showed you at the beginning of the video. And then we have the scene that you've probably seen, you're familiar with, because we've been looking at it for a couple, couple of the videos. OK, so the last thing that we need to do in order for this to work is we've got to go into Mixed Reality Toolkit, Utilities, go into Oculus. And we're going to click on Integrate Oculus Integration Unity Modules. So click on that. And that's basically going to bind everything with MRTK. And once you do that, we're basically ready to go. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Build Settings, and make sure that I'm adding the current scene to my scenes that I want to build. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be connecting my device. I'm going to deploy it to it and then show you the results. All right, looks like the Unity logo is coming up. Let's see if this scene is going to load. The first thing that I want to see, if I want to make sure that my hands are currently working, you can see the hands are completely functional. What I'm going to do too is, for some reason, the seeing it's like be beneath me, but I'm just going to adjust it. I can just do that. I can bring it close to me. I'm going to be just grabbing the coffee. So let me just go ahead and take a, a little cup of coffee here. Uh, but anyways, I can rotate it if I wanted to. There we go. I can grab it there too. I can grab, let's go ahead and see if we can grab something else. Just grab that item. Grab this space, space uh, landing thing that goes to the moon. And then I can also, the sphere is working. So we can grab some of these sliders. Yep. Lighters are completely functional. I can't really touch that. Let me actually bring it close to me because it's the computer is just right in front of me. But yep. It is working. I can push different buttons. I can interact with that. Let me see if I can bring the cheese. So yeah, everything is working, and I think this was a successful video. Again, thank you very much, guys. If, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.